everyone, it's Priscilla from Back Up. Hey everyone, it's been a while, but I thought I would do a bit of a makeup update. And um, I got three products that I finally finished. And, um, okay, so the first one is a makeup primer by Rimmel, Rimmel London. Personally, I didn't actually like this one, and I didn't think it really did a whole lot to my face. It's but if you like more of a cream base for your primers, um, this one kind of feels like a moisturizer when you put it on. I pretty much finished it, but I'm planning on just throwing it out because I didn't really like it that much. Okay, the next one I have a Physician's Formula cushion. And it comes in this really cute packaging. I already have some like ton, couple of stains on it. But um, I actually really like this one. It was a little tiny bit darker than my um, natural color, so I used it in the summertime and finished it then, so that it gave me more like a bronzy look for the summer, like a nice summer glow. Um, I still really like the this the Physicians Formula cushion. Um, it felt really nice and fresh on my face, and that was really nice. I just wish they had like a little bit lighter color for my skin tone. Okay, the next one, I actually had a sample from Shoppers, and it's with uh, Reversa. This one's SPF 30, and I actually had, it was kind of like a tinted moisturizer. I really, really liked this one. I used it to the core. I squeezed out every single bit that I could. I'm definitely going to use this next summer. Um, so that's Reversa, and it's um, just a sunscreen, but it had a nice tint to it. Like, it was great. <laughs> The next thing I'm going to do guys, I actually bought a box from Botanic and Tear. I did one box of theirs before and it was called the Astoria Box and now they, um, they have changed their name to Botanic and Tear so it's still the same company and um, I got their Fall Box and it's, it's super cute. So this, uh, the Fall Box came with three different products and I actually just used um, the facial scrub this morning. It's um, for sensitive skin and it's called Be Kind and it has um, cranberry and seed butter. Um, yeah, it smells really, really nice. Also, I was actually surprised that it didn't jar up my face at all because there's some scrubs that I've used and I get really red and patchy, like really red right here in these two spots. And um, this one, after I patted my face, I actually felt like my, my skin was very moisturized. It had a lot of good ingredients in this one. Yeah, so this was a nice um, face exfoliant and it was really gentle for your skin. The third thing I have here, which I haven't opened yet, I haven't tried this one. This is their Lip Nectar. And um, let's see, it has grapeseed oil, pumpkin seed oil, lemon, essential oil, sweet orange. And I'm um, really excited to try their lip nectar. Um, I've actually been really into the whole lip oils. I find it moisturizes my lips a lot better than lip balm. I bought this lip balm. Actually, let me show you. Alright, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I bought this lip balm from the dollar store. And it was 99.9% um, natural. But you never know these days with different products, you really want to uh, research what is actually 100% natural or if it actually is or what kind of other ingredients that they put in it. So this one was just a peppermint lip balm from the dollar store. I find it's been really good, but um, I've been reading up on lip oils to moisturize my lips, especially in the winter time I really get really dry and I already feel like the flu coming on guys, so <clears throat> sorry my voice is going a little bit. Um, but yeah, I've been researching more about lip oils and I really like the moisture effects. I have this one, um, it's a raspberry one from the Face Shop. Actually, I have it on right now too. And then my, um, my husband's cousin made this, <coughs> excuse me, oh no, I'm going to have to have some tea later. Okay. Um, my husband's cousin made this rose oil and it's made with almond oil and it has some like rose petals in it. So I was reading the benefits on that and you can use it on your lips as well. I've been using it on my skin and on my hands and my hands have been like so super soft. So I definitely have to get the recipe from her. This is rose oil.
And the last thing, this is the reason why I got this botanic box, this, um, the fall one. Okay, because this one had the hemp solve, and I've been really wanting to try it every time I saw it on their Facebook page. Um, I have a lot, I live with like chronic back pain now and then. I was hit by a car um, a couple years ago, so I am always looking for new muscle soothing um, balms and such. My favorite one is this peppermint one by um, Wintercrest. It's been amazing and I will probably constantly buy it because it's amazing for everything. Now that I'm talking about it, I should show it to you as well. Okay. I feel like this video is more like a miscellaneous makeup and other stuff. Okay, so this is Wintercrest and literally it's good for everything. Um, I brought to Putacana um, when I was on my honeymoon with my husband and he got bitten. I got bitten as well, but like his bites swelled up a lot. So I was reading the back of this and actually it's good for insect insect bites. Um, I use it for my muscles on my back. It's good for headaches if you put it on your temples. Um, literally it has like this gigantic list here. Bruises, sprains, cuts. I've used it for that too if I've gotten a cut. Um, itching, rashes. And what else? Bug bites, stings, or arthritis. Anyway, so Wintercrest is like your go-to balm for like everything. So um, in addition to that, I actually got the, <clears throat> the cinnamon one as well. This one actually, instead of the peppermint being like a cooling sensation, this one um, really warms you up. It, um, when you put it on your back, at first it feels like it's really cool, a cooling sensation but afterwards it gets really really warm. Anyway, this one's also just as good Good, and um, personally I recommend the peppermint one. This one's been my favorite. Um, maybe because Windsor gets kind of really hot here so I haven't been needing this. An apartment gets really warm anyway. We always have the fan on. The cinnamon one also has a lot of um, healing benefits as well for cuts and scrapes and um, I don't think this one, yeah, bug bites even too, colds and sore throats, Charlie horses. This one has a bit, couple of different ones that it helps with as well. So I definitely recommend Winter Crest. Okay, I get kind of distracted, so back to my last item, the hemp balm. I haven't tried it yet, but it smells really, it's really light actually. Um, but it's good for muscles and soreness and since I was almost finished my winter crest one I was like why not try something different I've heard of the hemp hemp salves and um, it's nourishing for your skin and I tend to get kind of itchy legs and itchy skin so um, that's why I also wanted to use this it's for skin irritations um, yeah dry and chapped skins muscles and joint aching and bruising um, so I'll let you know how this one is. This one's by Cannabis, and it's organic as well. And I definitely trust the Botanic and Tear um, products for their organic um, products. I definitely recommend it. And um, that's it for my video today. I just wanted to kind of update you on what I'm using, um, just things like that. Anyway, it's been really nice talking to you guys. Sorry if I sped through that kind of quickly. Um, thanks again. <laughs> Actually, so I have one more thing to show you guys. I got this off of eBay. It's a car diffuser locket, and I'm super excited to put it in my car. It's so cute. I got one for my sister, and so it's um it's an air freshener, but you can use essential oils with it, which I'm really excited about. Oh, my nose is itchy. Okay. <laughs> and um, so the one that I got, I got this little cute little peacock one, and I'll show you a closer up version. But you have this little sponge that you put in the locket and then you drop a couple of um, essential oil drops in it and you just put it um, where you're, where the air conditioning comes out. <laughs> I'm so good at explanations. Anyway, I have this cute little peacock essential oil one so I'm super excited to try it and I will let you know of the new essential oils that I'll be getting. Right now I have a vanilla lemon one that I'll be using. Okay, that was it. <laughs> All right, bye, goodbye, guys. Um, till next time with new products and such.
As you can see, I'm going to go have some tea now for my throat because I feel like it's been coming and I've been trying to ward off um, this cough. And um, I'm actually going to have some Indonesian tea that my sister-in-law had given me. And I had it twice last week and I was like, fine. I didn't, you know, feel sick or anything or felt like a cold was coming, but I still feel like I'm still fighting like a little tiny bit before it gets like a full blown, flow, bleh, full blown cold. So I'm going to go have some tea. All right, I'll see you guys next time on Buck Up. Bye!